Let's remember one thing that I didn't finish saying, making clear about, you know, arguing and whatnot. Is that... Another aspect is that as I analyze what people are saying to me, as I analyze what my wife is saying to me, as I analyze the differences that is said exist, um, the wrongs, the rights, really the wrongs, more than anything, anything else, as I examine, as I listen to examine what is being said, it, of course, it has offered to me the choice to change my mind. Yes? What I'm being offered is another choice. What I'm being offered is supposedly the truth. I don't think it is. Is it just their truth or is it the truth? But I am being offered another alternative. So it's up to me to decide if I choose to take the alternative, to believe in it. Or to ultimately recognize the truth, really. Right? Because we're talking beyond belief. We're talking about a recognition, a knowledge, an understanding, 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 understanding of the truth that is being offered. <laughs> Even if it's being thrown at you. <laughs> um, but I examine it. I really see no reason to accept it. The, the step except the varying beliefs, ideas, wants and desire, and the different from my own, I see no reason to accept it because I exam as I examine it specifically, or each specific instance, I know there exists others. There exists a plethora of other scenarios, issues, things of that nature that you also have an idea about comes about and I know even these they differ so why should it be any different when we're arguing when I see that there is a difference there is a a well somewhere I guess might be a tangible difference but there it, there is a a seen difference for those who have interacted with me for those who have seen this video my videos it is seen the differences are there so as they differ with you and I and those who I have spoke have spoken to online of course it was different with all that involved in my life and specifically my wife I would like I said that I examine them and, and I try to put them against each other and we get an idea and concept of peace Ooh. And things of that nature, which we hold to be ultimate. Once again, we have that which is held to be ultimate, and as we examine the ultimate, as we examine that which is said to be good, as we examine issues such as peace, and I see that we differ in how and what is being offered. And in there again, you know, I, is it's me accepting what it is that I believe, or is me accepting what it is I am, or what I see. What it is I understand, what I understand, understand, understand. I mean, that's, it has to be, that's the way I have to think, because I have no other way. I don't really have any other choice, yes, but to be me. I have no choice but to be me, no matter how many times you might say I've changed, but I've only changed into myself. <laughs> and if I change to anything other than myself, that wouldn't be myself other than what that, which I would be. Which would be myself. Now I'm dropping. There you go. All right. I think that was it. Oh yeah. So I see no reason then to try to change other than being myself. Changing. To, for the sake of believing what it is that you have to offer, that's what it would be. It would have to be beyond me believing it, beyond me seeing it. I have to accept it. What's up?
and I can accept it out of being myself. Other than choosing counter to myself. What's going on? What's the word? <laughs> yeah.